Hi guys, just a quick video today to introduce you to the new Cisco ASA X Generation firewalls. These will be running alongside the existing 5500 series firewalls. For how long, I don't know. Um, main differences are hardware and obviously the hard-coded limits such as packets per second have been dramatically increased, uh, throughputs. Specifically today I'm going to be talking to you about the 5512X versus the 5510, briefly. Um, but starting with the new points, Cisco brought these out to be geared towards more, um, they say context aware, so they mean the user's device, the user himself and the user's applications are uh, all rolled into one, encompassed, um, looking at that. Um, uh, IPS modules built in to each of the uh, X generation firewalls and um, we've got from 5512X all the way up to 55, 5555X um, firewalls um, so obviously you know small medium enterprise all the way up to data center uh, mission critical business level um, so specifically 5512 versus 5510 um, sorry, before I go into that, there's also new software for the X series, which can't be put onto the 5500 series, um, the existing 5500 series. So that is the 8.6 software. You cannot load that onto the 5500 series ASAs. So don't try. Um, and likewise for 8.4 for the X generations. Um, so 5510 versus 5512, so in the 5510 we had 350 meg throughput, um, in the 5512 we've now got a gig, 5510 had 4 gigabit ethernet ports, we've now got 6 gigabit, uh, sorry no it didn't, this had, it had 2, two gigabit e ethernet ports with a security plus license um, with 2 fast ethernet or it just uh, with a base license you had 4 fast ethernet ports. 5512 comes with by uh, standard 6 gigabit ethernet ports uh, so you, you can take full advantage of that gigabit throughput um, obviously we've got our hard coded packet per seconds increased um, don't know off the top of my head uh, but please go visit Cisco's website for all that detailed information and obviously the standout um, hardware difference is uh, the IPS, uh, well I should call it uh, the IPS SSP security services processor built into the X generation files that's across the range not just the 5512X um, but obviously, um, obviously with Cisco you have to buy the license to activate that. Um, in terms of functionality obviously aside from the IPS and the new context aware stuff the, the file was pretty much the same um, we can go in here show version so we've got the 8.6 code we've got a uh, platform is 5512 we've got 2 gig of RAM and we now have multi-core CPUs um, I think before in the ASA 5510 we had Intel Celeron CPUs correct me if I'm wrong uh, but they weren't multi-core and obviously uh, there's only one flash built-in flash now you can't have a uh, user added flash but uh, 4 gig should be enough for you uh, obviously we've got our 6 gigabit ethernet ports uh, the management port is also gigabit this is all familiar to you IPS module there you go disabled by default obviously you have to buy the license VPN stays the same, I believe. 250 uh, was 5510 as well. Um, failover, of course, Security Plus license for the failover. So when the, I think when this was first announced, there was a bit of confusion over this, whether there was going to be failover for the 5512X or not. But uh, now if you look on Cisco's website, it does confirm there will be pretty much the same. Uh, I can't... You know the the videos. Um, the video is not to show you that. Uh, that's not the aim of this video. This is just to introduce you to that. But if you wanted to go ahead and have a look, then uh, please request the video, and I will make it. Um, so I hope this video has been informative for you, uh, and I hope you subscribe. Please make requests and um, post your comments. Please make requests on my channel. Thank you very much.